Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Colton, Bear Scare Beauty, back again. And I'm actually reshooting a video that I shot last night, and it did not go the way I wanted it to, so I deleted it. Ah! You better stop! Stop! Uh, yeah, so I then saw something from, it was, it's likely makeup on Instagram, I think it was. Uh, and they did this really kind of cool editorial look, which is really more of what I was going for, but they just executed it better. And so kind of looking at them, I was like, okay, that's something that I can definitely use to redo this, so I'm just gonna do that today. Uh, it's inspired by insects. I really love insects. Uh, I love butterflies and arthropods and things like that. Not so much into spiders, though I think some of them look pretty. Anyways, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna do a little thing on my channel. It's just gonna be some things inspired by insects. Uh, because since we are all under quarantine right now, I cannot really get materials to do a lot of special effects makeup. Uh, I am going to be doing more of those though. I've still got a bunch of scar wax that I can use and things like that, but uh, silicone and stuff like that is just way too expensive to be buying right now. So I'm gonna have to put that on hold. Uh, I am going to start by gluing down my eyebrows with just a little glue stick. Uh, I'm gonna move through this real quick. I'm and usually I take it and to kind of encapsulate my brows, I like to start from the back and work my way forward, so... And I'm kind of using the edge of it. And I'm really pushing down, and I'm really getting a lot. And it looks real bad, because I have these real thick eyebrows, but it looks real bad. And then we're going to push it back. Once again, using quite a bit of pressure and just trying to keep them flat. And then I'm going to flick up. But yeah, if you notice, there's a lot of gunk right here, and we do need to get rid of that. So you can just use like your saliva or water if you're not disgusting. Uh, I am just going to take a spoolie first and just make sure I'm kind of gently brushing over this. I'm not trying to disturb the hair, but I am trying to make sure that it's all going one direction. let that dry a little bit. I'm just gonna lick my finger and smooth it over. And I'm just gonna finish this off camera. I'll come back when I'm ready to color correct and powder, okay? This is about five layers. I think that's really as good as they're gonna get right now. They're still a little tacky. Uh, I've kind of dissolved the glue around the outsides just using my tongue. You know, a little, little, little bit of this action here. It's just gonna keep the edges nice and smooth. Now I'm just going to take, this is just a matte red lipstick, and this is a, I believe it's an ultra matte. They're really not kidding when they say ultra matte. Uh, I'm just going to take a, it's a veining brush, but I actually use it as a lip brush most of the time. And I really should be working off a palette, but I'll just disinfect it, or just get a new one when we're done, because uh, the Rona. Obviously, any color corrector. I don't tend to use color correctors, except for when I block out my eyebrows. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little velour puff and uh, a powder that's a little bit darker than yours. This is 1.5 by Maybelline that fit me. Uh, I usually use 0.5. quite dark and thick eyebrows, so the powder obviously doesn't really make them disappear. Uh, if you're somebody that has lighter brown brows or, you know, brows that aren't black tan, probably going to make it disappear a little more. Uh, now we're just going to go into some foundation. For foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow. I really like this foundation. I think it's relatively natural looking. Uh, I'm just going to put it right on the brush. I 
can still actually see quite a bit of color through my brows, so I need to take care of that. We're going to do some double dipping. I'm going to repowder my brows, and this time I'm going to use 0.5. It's much lighter, obviously. And then we're going to go ahead and conceal over that. Take a fluffy brush and just dust away any excess. I'm just going to take this opportunity to powder the rest of my face. So you can see the brows are still very much out to play. For now, just tart shape tape, kind of going nuclear on them. God, I hate the smell of this. Just going to take a stippling brush. It's better, it's not perfect, it's better. I'm going to start by outlining the outer edge with an eyeliner. Not the liner I was looking for, but the liner we're gonna use. This is just a Lorac liner. I'm going to take a black shadow and just pack it along that edge. I'm just going to use an eyeliner brush to do that. I'm just going to take a crease blot, a crease brush, and I'm going to blend this just a little bit. I'm going to use a deeper blue to kind of blend out like the edge. I just kind of want to get this started. I'm going to build up the black a little bit more so when I start blending it out, it actually kind of blends out, you know? gonna start blending again and I'm actually not like trying to keep a super precise line I'm totally okay if the edges are a little blown out I'm going to take a bigger and fluffier brush and just really kind of blow this out I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Palette. Uh, these are really powdery, kind of hard to work with, so I'm actually going to prime my face. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of this NYX Proof It Primer. Not a ton, but just a little bit. I'm going to blend that out and it's going to give it something to stick to. And then it's also going to help us reinforce the black when we go back in with it. Just taking a paddle brush and this blue right here. Oh, I think I forgot to mention, I I'm doing this based off of a Morpho butterfly. I'll put a picture up. Uh, they're these really just gorgeous, vibrant, like reflective blue with a uh, really striking black outlining and then some of them have like a some red dots on them as well a little bit of white and then the blue isn't just blue but it has like green in it like an aqua to like deep green sometimes they're just they're really pretty <laughs> And I'm just going to sweep and blend this together. This, I do want to try to keep more in the lines. And then I'm going to go back in with that black, and we're going to kind of marry the two together. And then I'm going to take a lighter blue on the inside and build it up and have this really like nice, shiny metallic part. <laughs> We're 
we're going to take the black again and I'm going to re-outline and then start blending inwards. Just going to take a really fine blending brush, dip into that black and we're just going to start marrying the edges together. take that big fluffy brush again and I'm just going to kind of graze the edges to blend the outer edge. You see how that looks? Then we're just going to repack some of that blue. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of back and forth so I'm just going to kind of stop talking and speed it up. All right. I've deepened the blue a little more. I'm gonna go back in with more black. Like I said, I'm just gonna kinda of show you what I'm doing real quick, but I'm gonna mute myself and watch a YouTube video because I'm bored. to dip in with a deeper taupe from the Buxom palette, and I'm going to use that to kind of blend the edge out because I don't want it to be stark black, I want it to be like a diffusion. going to take Cancelled from the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson palette and I'm going to use it to fill in this area and then we're going to keep this kind of like inner part uh, open for placing down the shimmer. It's going to be a cool look I think. Just going to take that on kind of a fluffier blending brush but it works great for packing as well. Popper on down. And I find better for like uh, pigments and palettes like this, uh, if you like press it before blending it, it generally works better. Though I know there are some makeup artists out there that, you know, have a heart attack anytime anybody presses a pigment on rather than blending it on, so, you know, just do whatever works for you, man. getting a good sense. So now that we got this area carved out, what's left, I'm going to take some glitter glue, put it down, and then we're going to pack some shimmer on. saturated. 
so I can try to maintain a modicum of control here. I'm going to take this as like a really deep metallic blue. It doesn't have a lot of reflect. It's it's really interesting. It's like ah, it's hard to explain. Anyways, I'm gonna take this on the outer edge. different brush, we are going to take the Simulation from the Jeffree Star palette. This is a really, just a really pretty blue. This is my favorite color in the entire palette. And I'm going to pack that on the rest of the lid. Okay, and now I'm going to deepen this top edge right here uh, with more of Cancelled. I think what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of black on this inner corner right here. Just gonna take that eyeliner again. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna kinda smoke it. Just just a little bit, like that. And I'm going to take a smudging brush and just kinda smudge that. We're going to take a very precise brush. I'm going to dip in just the tip on that black, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to create just a soft, subtle line there. Make sure I get the excess off, and I'm just going to use the same brush to try and kind of And I'm taking the brush that we had cancelled on, and I'm just going to kind of re-blend that edge right there, because I did kind of wipe it. This is one of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighters. It was from their Fire and Ice Dragon collection, and this is... Uh, Halo Walkers. I'm going to take that and I'm actually going to kind of just gently highlight the blue with it just to kind of give it that ethereal effect. Ooh, yeah, see? See the way that's reflecting? That's like exactly, ooh, perfect. I love it. Cool. I'm going to do the other eye off camera because uh, this took a while. I'm back. I kind of look like a villain from Spawn, um, but I'm kind of into it, actually. So, I'm just going to finish off my face. I am going to bronze. Uh, this is actually just the <laughs> Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. It smells like coconut. It's, it's a surprisingly good bronze. It's nice because it doesn't add a ton of color, it's just kind of enough, you know? I'm looking a tiny bit less pale. Now I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild Color Ombre Icon Blush Duo, like I do in every single video, and I'm just gonna like dust this all around my face. And once again, that just adds a little luminosity. I think I need to add a little bit of black on this side, like right here. 
Just taking one of the brushes that I used to put the black on originally and just kind of... I'm just going to take the NYX Liquid Suede. This is an alien. the evenest I've gotten my lips in quite a while. This looks like a lot, um, because it is, but I feel like it's missing something. So, uh, as I said at the beginning, some Morpho butterflies have like these red dots along their wings, so I am going to add some red accents. I'm just using a Maron Paradise paint. This is in red. It's just a water-activated paint. What I want to do is actually like dust my lips with a little bit of the highlighter. So I hope that'll give it a cool effect. Kinda, yeah. It's like way more prevalent on camera. All right, guys, so I think we're done. This is the final look. I'll have pictures up on my Instagram later. Uh, not, not exactly what I wanted to do, but not not exactly what I wanted to do. Way better than last night's attempt, I'll say that. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing more bug-inspired stuff, maybe not necessarily butterflies, but like beetles and stuff like that that have really interesting colorings. And maybe not everything is going to be like this, you know, like I kind of look like a KISS member, but like a little bit Juggalo Jan, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Once again, this is Colton, Bear Scare Beauty. Subscribe right down there. Watch my latest video or my other videos right over there. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, same way it's spelled here, Bear Scare Beauty. And hey, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Uh, enjoy the peace and quiet of being forced to stay inside. Love you guys. Bye.